So I've been getting this question a lot lately, especially on Facebook, since that's where I post a lot of my weight loss progress and just kind of the struggles that I go through and things like that. I post a lot of it on Facebook. Feel free to add me if you would like to. I'm always open to new friends. Um, but I've been getting this question a lot lately, and so I felt like it would be just easier if I made a video just talking about this. And the this that I'm referencing is how I am losing weight currently. Um, so back in November, I started by just, I had that click in my mind when the doctor told me that a lot of my medical problems were due to my weight. And, you know, I hadn't been happy with, you know, the way that my body looked, the way that I felt <clears throat> in quite some time. And so I just had this moment where I'm like, you know what, let me just make this effort to try to lose weight and see if it makes me feel any better. If it doesn't, then I know that the doctor is basically full of crap and, you know, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. But if it does make me feel better, then, you know, maybe they're right about something. Maybe I really do need to make a change. And so I decided to look into the gyms around here. And when I first moved here, well, maybe almost a year after I moved here, um, my roommate decided to start going to the gym with her friend. And so I looked into the gym that they went to, which is not far from my house. And I felt like, okay, it's not far from the house, so I can walk there. You know, there's really no excuse. If it's that close, I can walk to the gym. And there should be no excuse why I can't work out, right? So I purchased a gym membership. I started going to the gym <clears throat> Monday through Friday um, while Peanut was in school. And so I started off really just walking on the treadmill, just slow, basically not really pushing myself, but just moving. Um, I feel like that's the most important thing is you don't necessarily have to do things like really intense workouts unless you want to. You don't have to to lose weight. You can do things as simple as just walking. And that's, you know, I've asked my doctor what I should do to lose weight and she always says, just start walking. And so, you know, I went to the gym and I would do that. And then um, I met this army guy at the gym who <clears throat> basically was helping me try new things. He had me using the weights, he had me doing the stair machines and ellipticals, and he had me jogging on the treadmill, and then he pushed it even further to, you're gonna run. And so I started running, and I was making a lot of progress, and that person is no longer in my life, um, you know, but whatever um so now what i'm doing i don't always go to the gym anymore i do a lot of workouts at home especially since you know it's winter time it's gotten super cold outside on a lot of days there's been super amounts of snow sometimes where i just don't feel like walking to the gym and there's times when i try to make excuses but you know regardless i'm like okay I can sit here and do nothing and gain the weight back, or I can move, do a workout at home, and continue to lose weight. <clears throat> However, I should say this, and this is all in bold letters, capitalized and underlined. You don't need to exercise intensely in order to lose weight. Really, what you need to focus on is your diet more than anything else. Um, what I do as far as my diet, I don't just eat like super healthy foods. Obviously, you know, I've gone to Burger King, I've gone to Long John Silver, and I've still been losing weight. Um, I eat chips and popcorn and basically whatever I want to eat as long as it fits within my calorie goal. Now, my daily calorie goal is 1200 calories. That is the minimum recommended amount for women. Um, I think men is a little bit higher than that I want to say um, now as far as 
that goes that number the amount of calories that I actually eat is higher than that but that's because I work out um, lately for the past two weeks I've been doing anywhere from 500 to 900 calories as far as burning them doing exercise every day um, I do yoga I do kickboxing karate um, Pilates I do dance workouts um, there's been a lot of helpful YouTube videos as far as that now that's another thing that I should say if you are somebody who is worried about I can't afford a gym membership or you know um, I can't afford to go to the gym I can't afford to get there I can't afford this or that you're on YouTube right now watching this video so you can afford YouTube so you can afford to do a YouTube workout all you have to do is search workouts and a whole crap ton of workouts will pop up I have done that for years um, haven't stuck with it but you know I am now I also use daily burn workouts I do strength training um, I don't I haven't done a whole lot of like ab work or stuff like that um, because I feel like it's kind of pointless at this point um, because of how much belly fat I have currently even if I was to like do a whole lot of ab work you wouldn't be able to see my abs because they're under fat so what I'm doing I'm working out at the minimum five days a week for at least an hour and most of the time recently I've been working out seven days a week um, but on some of those days I take a break from the more intense workouts and I'll do you know a majority of like yoga or recovery stuff where it's not as intense it's low impact and it's just easier on my joints and it gives my body time to recover from all of the more intense workouts that I do throughout the rest of the week um, that's really it I I have tried to eat more salads oh I also cut out all unnecessary liquid calories very rarely do I have a soda or juice or things like that very very rarely because you'll find if you're going to um, restrict the number of calories that you're taking in that liquid calories add up very very quickly so juice and soda and things like that it's best to just cut them out especially if you have a food addiction and you like eating food um, or just even if you don't have a food addiction if you like eating food cut out the unnecessary liquid calories I majority of the liquid that I drink is water however there has been days where I replace one meal with a protein shake so that's obviously liquid calories um, but juices and sodas they're unnecessary calories so I cut those out almost completely like I said very rarely do I indulge myself with those um, <clears throat> I think I've pretty much covered everything I try to move more I have my jawbone up set to um, vibrate it's a vibrating alert and it will let me know if I have sat still for an hour so if I sit still for an hour and this thing goes off, even if I'm just sitting here watching Netflix or whatever, I will get up, try to take a few steps just to kind of keep myself moving throughout the day. I find that that's a little bit helpful. Um, it keeps me energized. And um, exercising as much as I have been has helped me sleep as well, which sleep is another important thing because it helps repair your muscles and all of the things that you've done when you're working out um, because you know you're tearing down muscle and then building it back up um, through your workouts and sleeping is very important for that whole process um, I really think that that's pretty much everything um, I also cut out candies as much as possible I still allow myself to have candy every once in a while but not like I used to I have a really bad sweet tooth and now instead of just going for candy I try to substitute candy with fruit and things like that which has the more natural sweetness to it um, so that's really it uh, I hope this helps somebody 
if you would like to talk to me more or, you know, maybe I can give you some more tips, um, let me know. If there is anything else that you would like me to talk about on my channel as far as fitness or weight loss related or just anything in general, feel free to leave it in the comments or message me and let me know and I'd be glad to make a video for you. And with that being said, that's all I have for right now. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.